Ireland. You may have read works by some of our writers. Perhaps you've seen some of our dancers perform. Maybe you've grown up listening to some of our bands. But do you know our scientists? From ancient astronomy to modern genetics, Irish scientists and engineers have been leaving their mark on the world. This short presentation, which is based on the Little Book of Irish Science, highlights some of those achievements. Early astronomy expertise. As far back as 5,000 years ago, astronomers and engineers in Ireland knew their stuff. The Boyne Valley, New Grange in County Meath, is home to megalithic monuments that show a deep understanding of the heavens. Probably the most famous example is the roof box at the burial mound in New Grange, which is older than the Great Pyramid of Giza. A small opening just above the entrance to the 5,000 year old burial chamber is positioned so that as the sun rises on the shortest day of the year, light floods through the narrow corridor and illuminates the chamber. Translating patent information. Patents are important for protecting innovation, but language can be a barrier to efficiently searching for patent information. The Centre for Next Generation Localisation at Dublin City University is a partner in Pluto, an EU project that aims to translate patent information into the relevant languages for global patent searchers. Efficient drug manufacturing could offer big savings. Researchers at the University of Limerick are focusing on overcoming the problems of continuous crystallization in the manufacturing process of pharmaceuticals. The approach could potentially save pharmaceutical companies billions of euro in manufacturing costs. Flying high with the European Space Agency. Ireland has been a member of the European Space Agency since ESA's foundation in 1975. Today, more than 40 Irish companies are working with the European Space Agency on a range of projects with benefits for both space exploration and life on terra firma. They include real-time ocean sensors and satellite data to assess marine and coastal pollution, blood testing technologies for use in space, and improving materials technology to build more fuel-efficient rocket launchers and civilian aircraft. The father of modern chemistry, Robert Boyle, born in 1627 in Lismore, County Waterford, on Ireland's southeast coast, is considered a founder of modern chemistry. Boyle was one of the foremost thinkers and experimentalists in the 17th century, and Boyle's law, which describes the relationship between the pressure and volume of a gas in a closed system, is still taught to science students today. Early Cancer Treatment Radiation therapy is a widely used treatment for cancer today, but as far back as the early 20th century, there was a version called the Dublin Method. Offaly-born scientist John Jolly and Dr. Walter Stevenson developed the approach, which captured radon gas in thin glass tubes and then inserted them directly into tumours. Stem cells for diabetes stem cell therapy help to tackle diabetes. NUI Galway is leading Red Star, an EU-funded study that aims to develop adult stem cells with the potential to both control blood glucose levels in patients and to address the complications caused by diabetes mellitus. The science behind the perfect pint as a freshly drawn pint of Guinness settles in a pint glass, small bubbles in the stout sink, rather than rising like the larger bubbles do in lagers. Researchers at the University of Limerick used computational fluid dynamics, 
a technique used in designing aircraft and Formula One cars, to figure out why. They found the narrow-ended shape of the traditional pint glass is a key factor in the downward pull of those nitrogen bubbles as the Guinness settles. The research also has applications outside the pub. Understanding the flow of bubbles could help improve some industrial processes. Layers for better plastics and computers. Smaller, faster computers, more efficient batteries and greener plastics could be on the way if we can use tiny flakes or nano layers of certain materials. Professor Jonathan Coleman and his team of researchers based at Trinity College Dublin have developed a method to split these materials into billions of such layers. This research could lead to the development of plastics which are both stronger and lighter than the ones we use today. A new weapon in the fight against superbugs. Researchers at University College Cork have found a new antimicrobial agent, Thuracin CD, that can kill the antibiotic resistant bacterium Clostridium difficile, which poses a major problem in clinical and healthcare settings. A window on the brain, seizures in babies. Seizures or fits are the most common neurological emergency accounted in the neonatal intensive care unit. They are caused by problems such as lack of oxygen around the time of birth, hemorrhage and meningitis. Professor Geraldine Boylan at University College Cork has been carrying out research with collaborators into automating EEG interpretation so that seizures can be detected reliably in the neonatal intensive care unit. Discovering the Pulsar In the 1960s, Jocelyn Bell Burnell, who was born in Belfast, was doing her PhD in Cambridge and helped to build an enormous radio telescope that scanned the skies. She analyzed the results on reams of paper charts and noticed some unusual markings or scruff on the record. This scruff turned out to be a signal from a pulsar, a previously undiscovered type of small, dense and rapidly rotating star remnant. Since then, many more pulsars have been found and studying them as health scientists to learn more about how some stars die. And the Oscar goes to Professor Anil Kokaram, a researcher at Trinity College Dublin, who won an Oscar for the development of visual effects software for the film industry. Together with a team of researchers, the software was designed for visual effects and image processing and was used on a host of high profile feature films including Casino Royale, X-Men, The Last Stand, The Da Vinci Code, and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Tinnitus through ear and tongue. Researchers at NUI Maynooth have developed a technology that aims to alleviate the symptoms of tinnitus, a condition where the person hears noises, such as ringing or hissing, even though there is no external source of the sound. The device called Mute Button uses the approach of targeting centers in the spinal cord and brain that integrate sound and touch with the aim of suppressing the perceived but imaginary sounds of tinnitus. Bad Clues on Health and History Dr. Emma Teeling is looking at the genetics of bats. Why? because therein could lie clues about how genes play important roles in health. At University College Dublin, her work compares genomes of bats and various other animal species to tease out how nature has addressed particular problems. The findings could help us better understand conditions such as inherited deafness, as well as more general topics such as ageing and the immune response. Software to make sense of DNA. Irish scientist Professor Des Higgins wrote one of the most widely used pieces of computer software in bioinformatics. In the 1980s, he developed Clustal, a program to align DNA and protein sequences. 
and this became a standard tool in the field around the world, allowing researchers to draw meaningful information out of genomic data. Irishman splits atom. Ernest Walton, born in 1903, died in 1995, was one half of a team that artificially split the atom in 1932. Working in Cambridge with colleague John Cockroft, Waterford-born Walton built a machine that could bombard the nuclei of lithium atoms with streams of accelerated protons. The lithium nuclei were artificially disintegrated in the milestone experiment that earned the duo a Nobel Prize. George Boole, born in 1815. The 19th century mathematician devised a form of logic that was later used to develop electronic systems that used binary instructions. Boole was English, but he spent most of his career at University College Cork. His symbolic logic uses operators such as AND, or NOT, or R. Today, Boolean logic forms the basis for everything from smartphones to the internet. The Beaufort Scale Rear Admiral Sir Francis Beaufort, born in 1774, died 1857, was an Irish hydrographer and officer in Britain's Royal Navy. Beaufort was the creator of the Beaufort Scale for indicating wind force. The Big Telescope in Burr in the 1840s, Burr in County Offaly was home of one of the largest telescopes in the world. The reflecting Levithian telescope was designed and built by the third Earl of Ross, William Parsons, born in 1800, died 1867, at Burr Castle. He used the telescope to discover the spiral nature of some galaxies. Why is the sky blue? County Carlow born physicist John Tyndall, born 1820, died 1893, came up with the answer to that question in the 19th century. It is because of the way shorter wavelength light is scattered by molecules in the atmosphere. Tyndall also made the important observation that moist air absorbs more heat than dry air, which was a major step in understanding the Earth's greenhouse effect. Earthquake Pioneer Irish scientist and engineer Robert Mallet, born 1810, died 1881, was a pioneer of modern seismology, the study of earthquakes. In the mid-19th century, he and his son buried gunpowder in the sand at Dublin Beach. When they detonated it, they were able to measure the shock waves that moved through the ground over a distance of half a mile. Mallet went on to be able to identify zones around the world that were prone to earthquakes. <laughs>